What's up everyone, Garrett here from Code the Web. And if you guys remember last year, we did the web design trends series. Now the great thing about web design is that it's always changing, it's always evolving, and things are always moving forward. So that said, get ready because now we're doing the web design trends series for 2015. So to start things off, we're gonna be taking a look at Google's material design. And now I don't wanna go too into detail of what this is and how it works because I've got an entire series mini series type of thing planned to take a deeper look into Google's material design and we can actually make some really cool things with it. So here I just want to give you the an overall gist of it and then we're going to show you guys some examples like usual. So what is it? Um, basically, it's just Google's newest design uh, practice. Uh, it's their newest way of doing design. Google was a huge pioneer of flat design and bringing flat design to be something that was seen all across the internet with Android and uh, Google's online services. And they're back at it again with what they've called uh, material design, which is just the next version of, I guess, flat design or something like that. Uh, so here we have um, this right here is a personal website. Um, uh, this this person designed, uh, uh, I guess, a personal website. Could be a blog, could be whatever it is, but they've made this and it's using material design. And you'll notice that it does look a lot like flat design, but there are some drop shadows. There are some elements that are a little bit different. And overall, it gives it more depth, which is something that while flat design is great, it is mis missing the depth aspect of things. So next, this is uh, what I believe is a messenger, like a chat online application or something and this once again is using material design um, similar you'll see the drop shadows a little bit you'll see the colors are kind of the same throughout uh, one thing that material design does do is they do have a set color palette that you can use or that they um, that they encourage you to use um, and so the idea is that no matter what color you use everything will go very very well together so this here is kind of, now this next section is what I think material design will be very, very good at or what it'll be best at. Um, one is apps for the phone, for the tablet, whatever, and also um, web apps. So I think websites um, definitely can use material design and do look really well, good with it. Uh, but I think it'll be best at general apps for tablets and phones and web apps. So here's a dashboard app that someone designed very very talented very very good um, here's another dashboard a little bit different this is more for a company management as you can see by the title right there and I guess right here it just displays all of the company's members or, or the team or whatever it is here is another yet another uh, dashboard but and while I'm showing you a lot of dashboards I want you guys to see what can be done with material design um, notice the patterns that carry over such as white space um, the flat design aspect of it and drop shadows to add more depth um, but yet again like this is another like same thing sa dashboard just the same but done differently and done brilliantly I think here's another dashboard um, but this while it still has some of the same aspects of flat design and, and the drop shadows and whatnot it's done very differently than this or this um, and it looks really, really good. It looks very different. It looks like it's its own thing and it looks incredible. So this is a web app. Uh, it looks like it might be a dashboard or maybe a calendar or something like that, but whatever. It is a web app, which is, again, what I think material design will work best at. Um, so these next three that I'm gonna show you are actually real websites that I'm sure you use on a daily basis, but imagined as if they were um, designed with material design. So here's YouTube. Uh, notice that although it is done with material design, it looks really, really flat. Uh, it's just a different flat design than what YouTube currently has. So um, like I said before, I think material design uh, will be best for apps and web apps and things like that. And while it definitely can be done for websites, uh, I think flat design, traditional flat design is, is fine. Uh, so there's YouTube. Then we have Amazon, which is also looks really really good and notice how notice how with flat design the traditional flat design that we're that designers use now it's very clean it's very sophisticated at the same time yet i think material design kind of builds on that and makes it even cleaner and even more sophisticated at the same time and then lastly we have facebook which looks brilliant i mean you can kind of just see exactly what i'm saying is that it looks a lot cleaner 
but a lot more sophisticated at the same time. So that's it for this video. Thanks, thanks you guys for watching. Um, definitely subscribe and watch some other videos that I've done in the past. Links and stuff will be on in the you know on the screen right there now. And then also make sure you follow and like us on uh, Twitter and Facebook because I'm going to have a lot of content there that I don't put in the videos. So definitely check those out and give them a follow, give them a like. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. So uh, peace.